everyone, it is Kim Velez and I'm really excited to be here with you. And today we're gonna talk about one of the most common, I don't wanna say mistakes because it isn't a mistake, it's really part of the process that everybody goes through when it comes to manifesting, but especially when they're manifesting an SP. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. All right, so it is Kim Velez. I am back. I am really excited to be here with you all today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful so we can get this message out and allow people to start experiencing loving, beautiful relationships that they actually want. So one of the things that has been really um, interesting for me to see in my own transformation as well as having the privilege of working with you know hundreds and hundreds of people um, in this same realm of manifesting an SP back and self-concept. And one of the things is this, is that it's not a mistake uh, because we all do it and I don't think there's really any way to bypass it. I think the only thing that may vary between individuals in this part of this journey of manifesting an SP or really manifesting anything that you deem as a big, right? Because we know manifesting is the same process for a feather or a person. It really is. But with the person, you have such uh, a story um, anchored in them and invested in an emotional and mental story invested in the old reality, the old experience you have, you had with them. And then you also have an invested story about yourself in relation to them that you're undoing and reprogramming with new stories. So that's the only difference. That's why it can feel harder. So when, so, so the only difference is the variations of timing of how long people will stay stuck and kind of this part of the process. So what is this part of the process? You guys are like, what the fuck, Kim, just say it. <laughs> I'm saying it, I'm saying it. This part of the process is not trying to control and trusting in how powerful you are as the operant power of your reality. So, so many people, when they learn law of assumption, they really start affirming, um, wanting to hurry up and control and in that process, they're not believing and trusting in the power of their mind, and they're not relaxing into, holy shit, I'm really powerful, all I have to do is keep investing my mind into this version of me in this reality and trust and know that at some point it'll manifest. And what people are doing instead is when they are affirming and doing techniques or whatever you're doing or all of the above, then what starts happening is, because your dominant story in the beginning, you haven't reprogrammed it yet, so it's still there, you're just trying to affirm over it, you're trying to do techniques over it, but it isn't dominant yet. You haven't solidified and anchored yourself dominantly into this new reality, into this new version of you, experiencing this new connection and this new person. So then what starts to happen is, you're checking the 3D, you're checking the 3D, checking the 3D. And when a circumstance manifests that triggers you or isn't what you want or doesn't look like it's moving in your favor, then you're believing in that outside of you more than you're believing in what you've been focusing on. And again, it isn't a mistake because everyone I believe goes through this. I haven't met anyone yet who hasn't gone through this. And so you wanna be aware of this, right? You really wanna start checking your internal ch temperature. This is what I call it. I go within me to check me for everything. I don't check my 3D. I stopped checking my 3D a long time ago. What I do is I just keep going within me because I trust and know as the opera and power and that people don't have free will in my reality that all I have to do is keep investing in my story knowing at some point it will come to be. And I'm okay with that because when you're living in the end, when you're affirming and focusing on the version of you that has what they want, you're, you're holding the vision and the story of your SP that is delightful and what you actually want to experience and you're focusing on uh, creating new memories and new circumstances with them that will eventually manifest in your 3D reality then you, you aren't unfulfilled because you're, you're creating that world and that experience internally. So this is why you wanna check yourself internally because I have noticed if I am triggered at all with this new version and this new version of me, this new version of my SP and this new 
connection that we have, then what I do, and my triggers are very low, like they're very minimal and they're from a scale of one to 10, 10 being like the highest of what I used to experience, they're like a fucking one. But what I notice for me is I start to feel uneasy. I start to feel anxious and I don't fucking like that shit. I don't like the insecurity or the anxious or uneasiness. So I, when I feel that for me, that's an indicator that I'm starting to focus, whether it's on an outside circumstance, it's an old story of him or an old story of me. So either way, it just signals your feelings are created by your thoughts. So it's going to let you know where your dominant focus is in that moment is unfavorable. So when I experience that, I ground myself, I go back within, I take a deep fucking breath and I remind myself, girl, you got this, you are the operant power, you are, you've got everything under control, just do what you know to do. And boom, I just go in the end and then I feel good again. Now, I know feelings don't manifest, it's the thoughts that create the feelings and the thoughts create your reality. But most people have to understand how you give yourself inner relief because if you don't start understanding that you can actually feel better, then and you don't understand how your thoughts are responsible for your feelings and emotions, then you're gonna really have a harder time of needing that 3D to make you feel better. You're gonna have a harder time of still reacting to a circumstance and believing in that circumstance out there and letting that circumstance out there control your inner world, control your inner story. So this is what this whole process is because when you start understanding that everything is just you, <laughs> then you all you got to do is just keep focusing on what you want and you're at ease with it. You're, there's a relaxation about it dominantly where you understand this has to be, this has to play out. Even if something old is still playing out, um, because that happens, it doesn't matter, this too shall pass. And you can say that to yourself, oh, this too shall pass, this is passing, passing through, passing through, almost completely out of here, what are we focusing on instead? That's what I prefer to experience. Because you're always going to want something different at different times. And it, it's, it's really understanding that you are the creator of your beautiful reality and you get to dictate and decide what kind of experiences you have with versions of people and things that you wanna manifest in your life. So you really want to keep paying attention to you, not out here, you. Because whatever's going on in here, right, in your mind, is pushed out and eventually you'll experience out here. So you wanna keep reminding yourself, I'm investing in this new experience, I'm investing in this new reality. And you wanna to learn to not believe in out here more than you believe in here. When, when I have had been faced with a third party that I created in my reality and literally bumped into her face to face, she could not shake me. She did not shake me because I had reprogrammed my self-concept so much that a old circumstance that I manifested that was still playing out in my reality, right? The old story was still, dis it was dissipating. It was on its last leg on the way out, showed up, and I did not let that outside of me dictate who I am in my reality. And I didn't let a unfavorable circumstance decide, I didn't give my power to it. I didn't say, oh, I believe in you more than I believe in me. And that's really when you're going to be getting a lot of what you want because you have shifted so much and you're really in your power as the operant power. You're, you're actually exercising that power you have rather than giving it up by not allowing this circumstance to really take hold of your inner world and shake you and throw you off course. Now, was I like that always? Fuck no, I had to work my way up to that. So don't beat yourself up if that's where you're at. I'm just sharing information with you so you can start observing it and paying attention and understanding what are you doing as a conscious creator? What are you doing as a manifester? What are you doing as the operant power of your reality? So you can get what you want. Because once you understand that, then shit really Really moves favorably like I manifested that third party out really fucking fast literally the next day and then she still lingered and then within uh, two weeks out completely so this is what I'm trying to tell you is that you're going to keep reaffirming and reminding yourself you are the opera power your thoughts are creating you're investing 
in focusing on the desired reality you want to experience and who, who you are experiencing that and keep dwelling in that until it's dominantly you. And you wanna go back in and check your internal temperature throughout the day and understand, am I an old self-concept or new self-concept? Am I an old reality or new reality? Which one am I investing in more in my mind? And then redirect and refocus if you need to so that you're investing your thoughts into the reality where you have everything that you want. And then you're gonna keep reinforcing your trust and belief in knowing that this will all shift and mold to this. And we don't know how fast it's going to be, but you'll, you'll know because you'll feel a shift in you. I had a major shift in me. When we have a shift internally, it usually means we've dropped subconsciously some old story that was still very dominant. And, and that's what this whole game is about. The whole game is about reprogramming um, and changing a belief system and replacing it with something new, which is why in the beginning it doesn't feel, you don't believe it, but you will still manifest that experience because out here is a mirror to your mental thoughts, but they're not solidified and you're not anchored in it. And so this is why it comes in spotty and this is why it comes in irregular and, and not consistent because you're not consistent in here. So this is, this is just support to help you really look at what's going on with you and, and to stop as best as you can each time something shows up in your reality that isn't favorable and you get triggered to take ownership of that and then redirect your mind and say, okay, I understand this is information. What do I want instead? Who am I having what I want instead? And persisting in that, knowing this will go away. It has no choice. It always does if you change your focus, change your focus until it dominantly is where you wanna be. And, and you'll learn through that process over time that out here will not take control of in here. And this is when shit really comes in fast and it's constant, consistent, lots of momentum. And even if you fall off track a tiny bit, like you get triggered a little bit or something, you get back on the horse so damn fast that you don't even see really a hiccup or a major blip in your reality at all. Like really, it's really fucking minor. It's not an issue. And the movement just keeps coming in. That's favorably. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.